Hi, this is RGK. Today I will take you on a trip to Japan with Nippon Marathon. It has been a long time since I last reviewed the local party game, but this one was worth the wait. I should just mention first that it's only local, not online. Nippon Marathon is a racing game of some sort. The contestants are not on carts or bikes, they are simply running, but there are still a few items in the vein of Mario Kart, such as a banana or heat-seeking watermelon. The appeal of the game is that it's presented as a Japanese TV program such as Takeshi's Castle, effectively becoming a fun obstacle course using the archipelago's famous brand of insanity. As catchy J-pop plays, a monkey taking a selfie can appear on the corner of the screen while contestants dodge Shiba Inu dogs, while the commentator adds a funny remark in broken English. The events taking place are completely bonkers, and it's a joy to participate in such a funny race. Those who lag behind, or fall to their doom, get temporarily eliminated until only one remains, then everyone respawns in a line and the race can continue. These events earn or lose stars, which contribute to the tally of points determining the final winner of a race. Another variable contributing to one's total points is popularity, which is gained by accomplishing specific actions such as using items or kicking businessmen, but don't pick up mushrooms or hit fans or you will lose points. The graphics contribute to the weirdness with a mix between flashy colors and hyper-realistic background textures. The strange physics and character animations, just look at the fallen pedestrians, cement the feeling that this game does not take itself seriously, which will allow us to forgive the numerous bugs. It's sometimes broken, but it's still funny. AIs can sometimes get stuck, choosing an alternate path can be seen as leaving the fixed screen and losing, a character that glitch out can be attributed a victory, and so on. In any case, it's so colorful and energetic that it's hard not to have fun and enjoy the moment. The game launched in Japanese and I had to blindly find English in the options menu, gear at the bottom, but I don't hold it against the game. It's possible to change the controls, but the default controller layout is good. A to jump, X to dive, B to crouch, left bumper for an item in the left hand, right bumper for an item in the right hand, press to use or hold to hit and gain a speed boost. It's very quick to understand and there is so much going on that even losers have fun goofing around as the game often puts everyone back together. Launch it at the party and you will quickly have everyone laughing to tears. Each level is unique and interesting, from a race atop a bullet train to a stroll through a sake factory. It's possible to pick from one of the 8 races or play a bunch together in a marathon, but there is also a lobster mode that procedurally generates an obstacle course and is brilliant. It's also hot seat, the controller is passed from one player to the next. Finally, there is a single player campaign with a bunch of cutscenes. The dialogues are surreal and the plot is totally silly, but that's why we like this game at all. The campaign takes approximately 2 hours to finish. In conclusion, despite a few bugs here and there, this game is a blast and a definitive must have in your party games toolset. It's guaranteed to have you and your friends laughing to tears. The only downside is of course the lack of an online mode. I hope that you enjoyed this video, bye! Quick end of video message. I'm about to split my channel and separate my content between English and French. If you watch this in English, you don't have to do anything. After a few more videos, I will stop posting in French. And thank you very much for following me.